Aloha. Today I'm going to go for a walk with Melinda Iverson in and we're going to go look at some wizard rocks. Linda, this is really cool. These are all, these are all, what are they called? Wizard rocks? Wizard stones. Wizard stones. Yeah, or the sacred stones or the stones of life. We have three main, or four big stones? Correct. There's four. Yeah. And they each have a name and they were each imbued with sacred healing power by four Tahitians that came here around 400 AD. Wow. Wow. And what's this little tiny one? That is a stone that um, Tahitian wise men came and healers came recently, I would say within the last 10 years, yeah. came back to re-empower the stones and brought with them a gift. And this wow. is the gift of that stone. So it's it's done by Tahitian healers. What, healers. Yes. The interesting thing about these stones was that they were um, scattered along Waikiki Beach and in, um, and built around and forgotten. Um, and then in 1997, they gathered the stones and brought them here. Huh. And they put a fence around them. And they, <laughs> yeah. And they put a fence around them. You're not allowed to sit on them or play with them. <laughs> we might get too much healing yeah, going on. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> They're afraid the tourists would desecrate them, I suppose. Oh, I guess. But actually, you know, they to this day, they still put out healing energy about 150 feet huh. from where we're standing. Really? Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting healing right now, you whether are. I like it or not. You <laughs> and anyone who walks through this, this, whether they know it or not, are right. receiving a healing. That's great. And what were you saying about the family? There's a family that takes care of this? Yes, yeah, so each of the sacred sites in Hawaii, or for the most part, each of the sacred, sacred sites in Hawaii, there's a family, an ohana, that steps up to care for and clean um, and take care of. They um, take care of the leaves. Any yeah. leaves that are in here, they clean the bird droppings. Yeah. And they any lays that have been left over that no longer have any life to them or seem like that, they'll pick out the old lays. People will often leave lays also on the railing here. Huh. So you, as you can see, someone's been in here recently to clean. It's yeah. It's very clean. Yeah, it is. It is. There's nothing. Not a Coca-Cola cup or no, anything. No trash. They really... They really um, 
it's, it's still sacred to them, right? They take their job very seriously. Yeah, that's great. It's a it's a burial ground. So this is the bones of the deceased Hawaiians um, that the they have uh, lineal descendants of several of four ways to dignify and honor the remains. So they wow. put them in this mound. Yeah. Oh, that's and there's very a flame cool. at the top. There's oh, look at those beautiful flowers on that tree. Aren't they great? There's a special name for the tree? Yeah, there's a special huh. name for this particular type of tree. Okay. Um, honestly, I can't remember what it is. That's all right. So Melinda likes Gandhi, and she had to sit at this end. They walked 220 miles to the sea yeah, so they could sell salt? So they could make salt and sell it. That's some homegrown idea, right? So, you know, it was a peaceful protest put on by Gandhi. They would make their own salt and sell it. So it was a homegrown idea as well as um, loom um, fabric. Oh, so they could earn a living. More Home people spun. could earn a living. Yes, but it was illegal. Oh, dear. That is so amazing. Thank you.